Because I'm a masochist and I also love a good walk down memory lane, I thought it would be a great idea to have a look back on the movies that I have reacted to on my channel that have particularly made an impact on me that touched me and evoked a lot of tears out of me and honestly i had a look back over the last three years and there have been a handful so much so that i thought it would be great to do a countdown video so counting down from least tear jerking movie <laughs> to most tear jerking movie <laughs> looking back at number one it broke me obviously i had to clip up these moments again and it was emotional so we're going to be taking a look back which means that some of the movies that you haven't seen in this list is probably going to spoil you so this is your official spoiler warning if you're not a movie connoisseur and if you haven't watched a lot of movies like me i would probably suggest staying clear of this video i'm not going to list all of the movies that i'm going to mention in my introduction because this is a countdown video and that's not how countdown videos work it's supposed to be a surprise so um i'm just letting you know that this could potentially be spoiling a movie for you you have now officially been warned also first video with the old background do you guys remember this from my 2020 days blast from the past i'm back at my parents house if you guys didn't know i'm adjusting <laughs> but it, it isn't permanent this temporary thing so we'll see how long i last i'm having an okay time so far as i said an adjusting period so for all of you guys that remember thank you for being an og before we jump into it i want to just quickly say that all of these movies are available to watch uncut with me over on patreon and if you want to check out the full movie reaction with me all of the videos will be linked in the description bar below. So with all of that said, let's jump into this very masochistic video, which is the movies that made me cry the most. I couldn't decide what I wanted to go with for number 10. So I have two number 10 movies. I have Revenge of the Sith, the third Star Wars movie, and then I have Endgame. So you guys decide which movie did I cry the most in Endgame or Revenge of the Sith. I'm going to show both and both equally made me cry the most at that particular time. Back then in 2020, 2021, I had no idea what was coming for me in terms of like sad movies to come. But let's take a look back. Let's take a look back at number 10. It appears that the Chancellor is behind everything, including the war. Oh, you're going to kill him, aren't you? This is so sad. <sighs> Just breaks my heart seeing Padme. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. I, I can overthrow him. Oh God. Oh my God. I don't believe what I'm doing. Hope your mom was right. You've changed. Oh, this is so sad. The Jedi turned against me. Don't you turn against me. I don't know you anymore. You're breaking my heart. Or what? You're going down a path I can't follow. There's a ball be one. Oh. Because of what you've done. Oh, don't cry. Oh, no. Liar. no. <sighs> You're with him. You brought him here to kill me. No. Oh. Let her. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you doing? You turned her against <gasps> me! <sighs> I don't know how much of this I can take. <sighs> oh my god, Tony's dying though. He did it, he saved the world. Mm, he looks terrible. This is Stark. Can you hear me? Oh, for fuck's sakes. It's Peter. What? He did it, sir. He did it. I'm sorry. God, I started out hating this man and now... I've cried for him twice. <sighs> Friday. Oh, oh, God. Critical. You can rest now.
Oh god. Please <sighs> light went out. Oh god. Oh. You did it, Tony. You saved the world. <sighs> wow. Oh man. Number nine, we have Jojo oh. Rabbit. This movie oh just gosh. completely surprised me. I was jumping into the movie, looking for a comedy and looking for some dark humor actually, and it completely just surprised me. So I was quite shocked that I even cried during this movie, but it was a really good movie. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. <gasps> His mom! Oh my god! Oh my god! What's gonna happen? What the f- Oh, her shoelaces! Oh... Oh my gosh! He's, he's, he's just gonna be home alone! Who's gonna take care of him? Oh! <gasps> <sighs> This poor kid. I'm sorry about Rosie. She was a good person. Mm. She really was. Person. She really, really was. Okay. Mm. Hey. This poor hey, kid. I think your book is really great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> Very creative. Look after that sister of yours. Get oh, he had to. He had to. <laughs> 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 Captain K did him another song. He did the best thing for him. Oh. <laughs> Kids really are the victims of war, aren't they? Physical and mental vi victims. <laughs> your, <laughs> your key. <sighs> Girlfriend will be she probably went to Nathan. I, I need some water. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm just so. I'm still so sad about uh, what kids go through <laughs> in war. I can't stop thinking about it. Go to stop. <laughs> At number eight, we have The Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. This movie really caught me by surprise as well, just because I didn't know how I felt about Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire always had my heart. I was a little bit hesitant even watching the Spider-Man movies that starred Andrew Garfield. Emma Stone isn't like my favorite female actress. She's a great actress, don't get me wrong, but there are definitely some other actresses that, um, are a lot higher in the list of actresses I love, I suppose. But regardless, Gwen Stacy's death shook me to my core because I didn't think that they could do that in a comic book movie. I didn't think that they could do that in a superhero movie. I didn't think the girl dies. I thought that the hero gets the girl. And so this completely shocked me. I was not expecting it and it was so incredibly heartbreaking. Let's take a look. Ooh. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gosh. <gasps> oh! She still hit the ground. Is she okay? I think she died. I saw her back. It was he was stay like a me, second too late, stay I think. With me, stay with me. Oh. Gwen. Gwen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
funeral. Oh my gosh, she's actually dead. <laughs> That's not fair. God. Now I know why they didn't make a third movie. Jesus Christ. Who is going to move to London with her? That should have been a hint. Spider-Man's not in London. That doesn't exist in any universe. That should have been the biggest hint. God. <sighs> he probably feels so guilty. As well. He broke his promise to her dad. He told her to stay away. Obviously, she's her own woman. She makes her own choices. Um, she didn't. And he's probably going to feel guilty for the rest of his life now. At number seven, we have Saving Private Ryan. I came into this movie knowing that it was going to be quite emotional. I was forewarned by my friends and I guess the comment section of YouTube when people suggest movies to me, you know, they're, they're like, it's, it's going to... Bring the tissues out, girl. You're going to cry. <laughs> Regardless, their warnings did not help cushion the blow or anything like that for me. I still cried really heavily. It's a war movie. You know that people are going to die, but it still hurts. So let's take a look back. Dude, you're going to get run over, bro. You're going to get run over. <laughs> you're going to get run over, bro. <laughs> oh. Earn this. Earn this. Oh. The light went out of the captain's eyes. And he never got to go home to his wife. It's with the most profound sense oh. of joy that I write to inform you, your son. <laughs> as well, and at this very moment. On his way home from European battlefields, James did his duty in combat with... Oh, good. I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage <laughs> the anguish of your bereavement and leave you only the cherished memory of the loved and lost. Uh, this is very, very, very sad. He got to go on and have a big, beautiful family. The last of the Ryans. Earn it. I hope that at least in your eyes, I've earned what all of you have done for me. Oh. <laughs> God, the guilt. Oh my God. My tissues ran out and I am not okay. <laughs> Damn. I feel like... Probably no makeup left on my face. <laughs> At number six, we have Gran Torino. Gran Torino made me laugh, made me cry. Stop, I just finished crying. Made me really look deep down inside myself to put myself into other people's shoes, particularly uh, Clint Eastwood's character because it was quite hard for me to empathize with him. At the beginning, I really just had to look deep within myself, put myself in his shoes and explore him as a gray character. And at the end of the day, his final actions blew me away. I had so much respect for him and his friendship with his neighbors that he formed eventually. It was just such a beautiful raw friendship and I feel like it changed him and it also changed the family as well particularly the boy I can't really say much else about this film I still think about this film today it is such an impactful film and I will always recommend it to people let's take a look back at the moment that absolutely shattered me <gasps> oh my god are they serious oh. what the f just happened how can they do this? This is family. This is family. Is what? What? What the f They got him! Sue. Oh my god. They need to f leave this neighborhood. Oh my god, I got scared. I got scared. Oh, go to the hospital. Oh my gosh, what happened to Sue? 
Oh man, he's fired up. Oh my god, I look so fucking atrocious right now. Holy shit. Oh, is he crying? Stop, I just finished crying. Oh, thank god the priest's here. I need you, priest. Console me. Because it was either he or you or someone who raped their own family. Your own blood for Christ's sake. Oh, I didn't know it was now Go ahead and pull those pistols like miniature cowboys. Go ahead. I didn't know that they were. To... Oh my god. Kind of jumpy, aren't we? He's got like so many guns pointed at him and so many witnesses. Oh! Whoa! What? He just shot him down. He just pulled out a lighter. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Because there were so many witnesses. He did this on purpose. He sacrificed himself. He went for his lighter and they shot him. He didn't even have a gun on him. This time we have witnesses. This guy will be locked up. Uh, oh god I can't breathe <sighs> did the most selfless thing for this family God, I look like absolute crap. I'm so sorry, guys. Number five, we have Interstellar. Interstellar is one of those movies that I grew up hearing a lot about because it's a lot of people's favorite movie, but I never gave it a chance up until I watched it for my YouTube channel, of course, because it was so long. Uh, it's a very, very long film and you really need to go into it when you don't have anything else on your mind and you are prepared for the mental, emotional roller coaster that this film actually is. There are several moments in this film that absolutely broke me to my core. I couldn't pinpoint it down to one particular moment, so this next segment is probably going to be longer. I have not watched that film since watching it for the first time and I probably need to do a rewatch, but it is probably going to break me again if I watch it again. All right, let's have a look back at the moments, plural, that made me cry, weep, sob during Interstellar. much <gasps> oh Murphy hey dad oh 
Today is my birthday. And it's a special one because you told me... You once told me that when you came back we might be the same age. <laughs> and today I'm the age you were when you left. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, they found him. Come on. Get to him in time. Please get to him in time. Come on, please get to him. He has to. He has to see his kids. Oh my god. Come on, Amelia. Come on, Amelia. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh god. Thank god. Thank god. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Leave man on this planet. Leave that man. Leave that. Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, oh my God. The ghost was his father. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was a feeling. It wasn't a ghost. No, no, no. Oh. Murphy! Murphy! Morse code! Stay! Stay! He's gonna write stay! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's, he wrote it for his daughter! Oh! Stay! Don't let me leave, Murph! mission the surveillance drone from the beginning wow 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 they didn't choose me they chose her to save the world it wasn't him i'm gonna find a way to tell murph how Cooper. love tars love love my connection with murph it is quantifiable it's oh. the key love is the key to survival wow <gasps> wow Wow! She's found the code! No, oh, baby girl, you're gonna save us! Wow! This is incredible! This is absolutely incredible! She's discovered it! She's discovered it! She's discovered it! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Station isn't named after you, sir. It's, uh, oh. it's named after your daughter. She's still alive. What? No. She is. Oh. Wow. Well, how surreal. Like what a cool world. Oh. Um, like everybody else. Murphy, of course. Oh, Murphy. <laughs> you 
Dollar Baby came into my life at a very interesting time because it was right after I finished the Rocky franchise and I was totally open to giving more sports movies a go. And for some reason, I didn't think that Million Dollar Baby would be so tragic. I can't. I can't. There's just so many moments in this film. I did not expect her to break her neck. I did not expect her to want to end her life. And it suddenly got really, really dark. I had all of these high hopes for her and I was really proud of her. And I was proud of the fact that she and Clint Eastwood's character finally were able to work together and it was all looking really great. And then the tragedy happens and everything goes downhill from there. And I was not expecting it which seems to be like the theme for this video. I was not expecting it, but I wasn't. And it was heartbreaking. So let's take a look back. I shouldn't have turned. <laughs> Retrospect, darling. I'd like to repeat himself. You couldn't have known what she'd have done. Will you tell him I'm real sorry? <sighs> so sad. This is just so heartbreaking. And the fact that she said that, Frankie, you're all I've got as well. Like, where's her family right now? She should have spent that money on her own health. It's just so sad. Oh, I can't take this. I can't take this. She couldn't breathe on her own. She couldn't breathe. The respirators were always on. Oxygen was pumped into her 24 hours a day. Holy f Oh, God. Going through these. So sweet can't claim to eastwood i love you i just love you i've only seen two films we've made so far but i love you already i got a favor to ask you Bob. remember what my daddy did for axel oh shit. oh god kill her no f way that's don't right. even think about that please don't ask me This is hard. It's hard. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, I mean, I see her point, but what a, what a thing to ask someone that loves you. What a thing to ask. It's, it's unimaginable. She'd be a time. Oh! Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I put her to sleep. Hell. Nearly bled to death before they stitched her up. <sighs> I'm just speechless. Oh, he's crying. Stop, I but just... now she wants to die. I just finished... And I just want to keep her with me. And I swear to God, Father, it's... It's committing a sin by doing it. By keeping her alive, I'm killing her. What do I mean? How do I get around that? You don't. You step aside, Frankie. You leave her with God. That's just. She's not asking for God's help. She's asking for mine. Frankie, yeah. I've seen you at mass almost every day for 23 exactly. years. Exactly. If you do this thing, you'll be lost. So mercy, so deep. <sighs> I think I did it already. I don't want tears to fall anymore. I'm gonna disconnect your air machine and you're gonna go to sleep. Wakushla means my darling, my blood. I can't. There's just so many moments in this film. It's just so. My darling, my blood. <laughs> God, I can't believe this. That's it. That's it. Her lights are up. This movie has made me cry so many times. It's it's insane. I don't think he had anything. <sighs> At number three, we have Green Mile. Green Mile 
broke me because it was so tragic. John Coffey did not deserve what happened to him. And the fact that it happened to him anyway really shook me. Like, how can that happen to an innocent man? It was so unfair. It was so unjust. And I also don't particularly love rodents. Like, I don't like rats. I don't like mice. But I also cried for a mouse during that movie, which was wild. This movie, I walked into it completely blind. I was not expecting to cry. I had nothing going into this movie, no expectations or anything. But let's take a look back at the moment that broke me. I don't know if I can watch this, man. I don't know if I can watch this. <sighs> he can see that the bucket is empty. There's no trail of water. No! No! Oh! 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 to him what's happening to him what the fuck is happening <laughs> oh god this is so chaotic man i i just i, I... <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what the fuck percy oh my god <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? I can't watch this. <laughs> oh my God! It's going on for so long. It's all under control. Stay calm. Stay calm. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Number two, we have Rocky three. I was so shaken by this moment. God, I'm ugly crying so bad. Because Mickey truly was a father figure to Rocky and Rocky barely breaks down in the franchise. Like there are only so many moments where he gets really emotional. And whenever he does, it's tragic. It's so sad because he's such a strong man and he keeps it together for most of the time. And you think that he's unbreakable. You think that he's invulnerable. He breaks down completely with Mickey's death and in turn causes me to completely break down. So let's take a look. He Do you want to go to the hospital to you, Daddy? What? It's about well, time is important. We must get him to the hospital immediately. We wouldn't go to the hospital until we got him. <sighs> It's your health, Mickey! It's your health! Are you crazy? Oh, I can't. I can't see this. 
What's the matter with you, Mick? Where's my what damn happened? tissues? Where's my damn tissues? Don't you used to be okay? Back off me. We did everything right. No, we. I did everything no, right. No, no, listen. Whatever you want to do, we do it, okay? I love you, kid. Oh! Nick? No, it's me. Nick? What? No way! Nick? No way! No way! Nick? Finally learned his last name, Goldbill. At number one, we have My Girl, and I am always going to find the death of a child to be the most heartbreaking thing possibly ever in this world. The death of a baby, the death of a child. I've been crying for what feels like two hours. Because that is not only a life gone, but the future of that life wiped like we will never know the potential of that child and that is what is so heartbreaking about it that and also the fact that a mother and a father should never have to bury their own children so let's take a look at the moment that made me sob incontrollably i think i know what happened Peter, come here and sit down for a minute Something happened to Thomas yeah. Jay last night. He stepped on a beehive. Did he get stung? Maybe I should go over and yell at him. No, sweetheart, you can't. Why not? He was allergic to bees. Oh my god. He's okay, isn't he? Oh, he was many. allergic to everything. <laughs> so sad he was just a kid what the hell i don't remember this i don't remember this That's being a traumatic team. film That's a wild team. i can't breathe i'm suffocating oh, okay. it hurts so bad we can stop oh it's heartbreak Oh my god. A, a tiny coffin. I don't, I don't want to see the tiny coffin. Oh my god. How the f does Macaulay Culkin die in this film? They were supposed to get married. Maybe once in a while be invited in for supper. I'm not asking you to stop feeling for those people. But life isn't just death, Harry. Don't ignore the living. That is such a good quote. More than anything right now, she needs her dad. Survived by his loving parents, Charles and Susan Sennett. That's grandparents, so Gloria Sennett, Gerald and Marjorie Pitt, many relatives, friends, and students. <laughs> Survived by <laughs> so many older people. The saddest thing in the world is a kid dying. <laughs> I can tell you that 
God. And now he's in heaven with the horses that fly. I don't like this movie, it's so sad. I can't stop crying and my nose is blocked. Let the children just pray. His face hurts. And where is his glasses? He can't see without his glasses. Put his glasses on. Put on his glasses. <laughs> Would it be an acrobat? He's gone, sweetheart. He's gone. I literally can't breathe. This is so sad. <laughs> This is just making things worse We're for her. Sorry. This is just very heartbreaking. She and I are going to be married this fall. Poor uh, Veda. She must Veda, feel so sweetheart. alone no. in this world. I can only breathe with my mouth. I can't handle this. How much more do I have to watch? This is too hard. I thought this was a comedy. I'm not laughing. I'm in physical pain. I've been crying for what feels like two hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quite harsh for me to look back at all of the moments that I was <laughs> ugly crying. Let's be real. Just like hideously ugly crying and super emotional and vulnerable to strangers on the internet. Uh, I mean, not all of you are strangers. Some of you guys are very well known to me. I... I know a lot of you guys by names, especially if you're a part of my Discord and on my Twitch. For the most part, it's quite scary pouring your heart out and just hoping that people don't judge you or think you're crazy. So thank you for watching and thank you for not judging me too harshly for crying like a crazy person on the internet. I hope you guys had fun and if you guys enjoy this kind of video, do let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you do like it, let me know what you'd like to see from me next that is kind of similar to this style of video. Let me know what movie made you cry the most. And if it's a movie that I haven't checked out before, I'd be kind of curious to check it out myself. Maybe we'll have another top 10 list in another three years time. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys. Don't forget the uncut version of every single movie I mentioned is going to be on Patreon and the full videos are up on YouTube if you're curious. Until the next one, take care of yourselves, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.